Oh, um, hello, welcome back everyone. So I just started the day and we're already doing a cutscene. So welcome back, we're playing Story of Seasons. Hey, good morning. Sorry to suddenly pop in, uh, pop up at your door like this. The mayor asked me to come see you. That rain yesterday was something, huh? Looks like you've got a few puddles scattered about. Yeah, how do I get rid of those? When that happens, I'd recommend using a bucket. <laughs> you can use it to scoop those pesky puddles into oblivion. I don't entirely think that's how that works, but sure. Here, I'll give you my old one. It's a bit worn out, but trust me, it still works like a charm. Try it for yourself. You can upgrade it later for me, right? Uh, cool. Why are puddles bad? Anyway, I don't want to overstay my welcome, so I'm headed back to my tool shop. Come on down if you need anything. Will do. Absolutely will do. I mean, I already got a bigger bag. Oh, hello. Another visitor. Good morning to you, Mushra. Apologies for barging in on you so early, but there's something important I need to ask of you. Okay. Perhaps you might have noticed, but our fair town's been getting livelier by the day. My hope is that if we can keep this up, we can develop our town into an even better place to live. Unfortunately, I can't do that alone. That's why I'd like to petition your aid as a citizen of Olive Town. I'd love to help. Most excellent. You've got the same can-do spirit as your grandfather. It's wonderful to have help of someone so reliable. You barely even know me, bro. Once we develop the town, we can open more shops, all of which I'm sure will be to your liking. Yes, please, give me- can I have, like, a hair changing station just in case I want to change my hair, but also mostly, like, clothing? Because I really want to change my clothes if I had known that I could dress more like a boy but still be a girl, then that would have been what I would have done. Even though girl clothes are very cute too, that was- I just really like the boy clothes more, and I kind of want to get pants. Give me pants. I like pants. <laughs> er, we might be able to open more shops. I'm still in the planning phases, so nothing nothing set in stone, but it should be financially feasible. Ahem. In any case, our current plan is to beautify our roads a bit. The more aesthetically pleasing our town is, the more satisfaction tourists will get, and a satisfied tourist is bound to visit us again. I've posted some details about the project on the bulletin board in Olive Hall. Don't forget to give it a read when you've got the time. Aha. Got it? Okay. I look forward to our progress together as a town. Cool. See, you, you say as a town, but I can almost guarantee you that, uh, are you done? Take, yeah. I can almost guarantee, give me, yes. Save it. Yeah, I can almost guarantee that, like, I'm going to be the one doing everything. Look at all of them. So cute. Save it. Ah! <laughs> Save it. <laughs> okay, cool. So I've got a squirrel. And I've got... um, What is it called? Birds. It doesn't seem like I run out of water, but I'm just, like, refilling them just in case. You know? And now I have a bucket. I don't think I'm going to use the bucket at the moment, because I don't feel like I need it. I just have this little tiny... Whoops. I just have this little tiny plot of land so far. Um, I do need to go feed my chicken, though, because I didn't have fodder, and for some weird reason, chickens can't freaking eat in any of these games. Even though there's no grass in here. But, um, we're gonna pet you. We're just gonna give you lots of pets. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Love you! Okay, let's get some freaking trees, because I need some wood. So today, we're getting wood. And while we get wood. Three, four? So we get four wood from each tree, is what I'm assuming. Or potentially five wood from each tree? That would be nice. Um, can I... There we go. Cool. So anyways, talking about style... Oh, hang on a second. I actually... have my partner messaging me. Give me two seconds. Cool, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, 
my boyfriend and I are trying to figure out, like, more about the, the vandalism stuff, but it's whatever, because he's got, like, a dash cam, so he was check he was looking into his, uh, camera footage. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk about clothing aesthetics. So, I kind of touched on it a little bit in another episode, I think. I think I started to talk about it, and then I, uh, kind of trailed off and forgot what I was talking about. Um, I'm a little tired. I, I am a little tired, actually. How much wood do I have? 31? That might be enough. Let's go, let's go into town and check things out. Um, but yeah, so style-wise, I'm, I'm 30 now. I wasn't allowed to dress how I wanted. I do remember mentioning this. Um, so, I would very, very, very much like to start dressing, like, in... Oh, I don't have enough gold, though. Fuck. I'd very much like to start dressing in ways that are pleasing to me. Um, so, I've been trying to sort of develop a style for myself, and... Currently, I don't really have any new clothes. Like, all of the clothes that I have are clothes that I've always had. Um, some of them are actually clothes that I've had for a while, like, since high school and stuff. Like, I... Some of them are that way. Um, some of them are clothes that I've had since college, which was only six years ago. <laughs> but even so, um, some things are, like, due to to be upgraded or they just don't fit me anymore because I did gain a little tiny bit of chonkeriness. I gained a tiny tiny bit of fat. With I don't have lumber. Never mind. Um Yeah, I gained like a tiny tiny bit of fat um over the years. Over the last two years actually. Um which is totally fine. It just means that I'm and when I say a little tiny bit of fat I do mean like ten pounds. <laughs> I gained, like, 10 pounds. Um, which, for me, I'm, I'm a tiny human. I'm not even 5 feet tall. So 10 pounds kind of makes a difference for my body. Um, I'm still within... I'm actually more of a, uh, a healthy weight at the moment than I was previously. Previously, I was underweight. So now I am... I am weight. I am of the weight I should be for my size. But it's it's just weird because when I was underweight, I was like the societally ideal skinny. You know what I mean? Like, that's just kind of the, the size that I was. 32 gold? That's like nothing. How much do these things sell for? I don't really want to sell that. Um, what if I sold some grass? Let's sell like 70 grass. How about that? That'll give me some stuff. I don't really want to sell anything else. So let's, let's, yeah, let's do it. Um, and since I feel like I might pass out, does fishing take energy, I wonder? Let's try, let's try to fish. Can I not? Oh, okay. Let's do it this way. Reel it in. Ah! Hold that to reel in a fish. When a fish is white, it will be reeled in slowly. As you're reeling in a fish, your fishing rod's durability will gradually decrease. If the gauge falls to zero, the fish will get away. When a fish turns red, it's angry and will take a toll on your rod's durability. If you try to reel it in, or if you try to reel it in, sorry, so let go of blah 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 if you see red. When the fish is blue, it means it's tired out and easy to reel in. Okay. Let's reel it in here. Reel it in. Oh, he mad. Reel it in. Reel it in. Okay, cool. Oh, the fish got away. Damn it, I thought I was doing good. Let's try it again. Um, anyways, yeah, so... My body shape has changed from previously. Um, I am like a little weird about showing my belly. Oh. 
Um, ooh, I got a sardine. Hell yeah, dude. Sardines are delicious. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a little weird about showing my belly now, which is silly because, like, I was so weird about showing my belly. Like, oh. I was so weird about showing my belly, like, oh, a crab? Gazami crab, ooh. Um, when I was skinny, I was, I was afraid to show my belly. When I was, like, underweight skinny, I mean. I was really afraid to show my belly then because I thought that I was fat, you know? Um, and, like, now I have more fat, but I also really want to just be comfy in my body. And it's, it's, it's a really hard struggle for me right now. It's really difficult to, um, you know, be cool with my body. Because I've hated it for so long. Like, in high school, I was much heavier, but I was, like, cool. It does take, it does take. Okay, I'm not gonna fish anymore then. Um, but yeah, I was, like, cooler with, kind, kind of with my body. I still covered up a lot, but, like... I was more confident in high school that, like, my personality mattered more than the way that I looked, you know? And then I started dating my ex, and that mentality sort of switched for me, where I was like... I don't think it, it was necessarily because I was dating him. I think, in a way, um, it was partially because... Um, it's only 6 a.m. I should I should do this kind of stuff. I think in a way it was partially just that like I had finally sort of entered society. Um, if that makes sense. Like I entered the workforce around that same time. I was going to university at that time. When I first started dating him. Mysterious creatures. Yeah, I've noticed them. Hopping around on your farm. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe something good will happen if you find a lot of them. Uh, we'll find out. Nice. Um, but yeah, I think mostly it was like the whole me actually entering society thing. Because I was also very sheltered as a child. Um, so like once I actually started to experience other humans, um, I think I got very self-conscious. Like very self-conscious of myself. Um... Which is not particularly good. <laughs> so even though I, like, looked more socially acceptable uh, by beauty standards and society and whatever, I still felt fucking gross, you know? So, like, it's been- it was almost a decade of me feeling that way about- myself and about my body so it's it's really hard mentality to switch off and it's really difficult to like love my body the way that it is and also that it's like ever changing because i i am growing older so it's going to change um anyways my point is that i really like crop tops <laughs> i think i look really cute in crop tops and i also really like um, high-rise pants. High-waisted pants. Let me talk to Iori. Uh. This town is not unpleasant, but it could do with a certain amount of bustle. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll talk to your dude, too. What up, dude? Ah, oh. oh, no, Iori, I'm sorry. Thank you, that's cool. Um, I- yeah, I want to talk to you. Dosetsu, that's your name. Uh, Kazi's young master and I, to appear all the more conspicuous. Ooh. Conspicuous. What about you? Are you the- you're the fire ranger dude, right? Or whatever? Ralph, yeah. I do regular patrols of forest, so I'm confident it's safe for some tourists to come here. That's good. Let's go check out the bulletin board. Um, but yeah, I really like crop tops. Like, I very recently started getting into them. They just feel comfy. Do you know what I mean? They- they just feel, like, really comfy. I don't really want to give any of you guys these things, but I also kind of do... Uh, 30? 30? For 300, though? I have 52. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't know what I need that for yet, so I'll just do it. Wait, can I only do one? Oh, fuck. If I knew that, I would have done something else. 
Mm. Poops. I didn't know that you could only do one. That's BS. Uh, ooh, that's nice. Accept title reward. Aw, oh, rad. I will accept them all. Wait, do I actually have to accept them all? Oh god, okay. This might take a little while. Um, anyways. So, like... I've wanted to start wearing crop tops, and I, I really like doing that thing where you, like, find a really big shirt at a thrift store, and then you just kind of cut it up. I'm cool with that. Um, so I bought a few shirts, and I'm planning on kind of doing that and just, like, cropping them to make them look boxier and cuter. Uh, do I have space for this stuff in my pockets? In my bag? Hey, fodder! Um... Wait, do I have everything? Oh, I do. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's cool. What did I get? What is this? Bronze Town Metal. What do I do with that? 20 fences. Milk. That's cool. Okay. Uh, anyways. My point is that, like, I also... Hey, dude. Compared to the city, this town's as backwards as you can get. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. So sorry, bro. Can I I can I can I upgrade my house now? Hello. Uh expand my house. Do it. Do it. And then maybe I'll try and get that bridge. At least I don't have to wait a whole day. That's kind of nice actually. How about it? Nice and cozy home should like a home should be, right? I built a kitchen for you. You should try and cook something up with all those ingredients you pick up on the farm. Uh, I will attempt. With a house this spacious, I say you've got enough room to keep a pet. <gasps> if you're interested in pets, you should uh, head on down to the animal shop. I'm sure Bridget can help you find one to your liking. Hell yeah. Phew, I did some fine work if I do say so myself. I'm looking forward to doing business with you again soon. Thanks, Nigel. I have a cute log cabin! Look at it! Look at me! So cute! What is he doing? <laughs> Furnishings can be placed on walls, blah 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 blah. Okay, cool. Bass will restore a small amount of stamina. Ooh. Okay. Can I open? So I can- oh, I can put milk in there. That's nice. Can I cook anything? Veggie salad? Shellfish soup? Ooh. I have some new things I can cook. That's nice. That's nice. What is this? Oh, that's my calendar. Okay. Very nice. Can I... <gasps> I can change my clothes? Wait, no, I don't have anything else, though. Aw, oh, fuck. Aw, oh, man, how do I get clothes? I want clothes. Please give me clothes. Okay, cool. I've got places to put all my things. View encyclopedia. Oh, I see. I see. They don't have... What is other? No, that's not what I want at all. Okay, that's fine. Uh, cute. I have a very nice spacious cabin. Well, I guess maybe we should try to get some more rocks this time, yeah? Because I just got rid of a lot of them. So, let's go for some rocks. Any hoodles. My point is that I... I have been trying to figure out, like, what what kind of style do I want? Um, and, like, when I was in middle school and high school, I remember really wanting to be, like, punk and goth. And I shopped at Hot Topic all the time. And um, I, had, I had this favorite pair of, like, shorts that just... They, they were shorts, but they went, like, just right above the knee. And, um... They were black with pink little pinstripes, like hot pink pinstripes. It was really, really nice. And I had like Emily the Strange sweaters and just like all kinds of stuff. Um, little Converse, black Converse. So like, I thought I was the shit, <laughs> you know? I freaking loved that style. Um, very, very much wanted, wanted to be punk and goth and like, my dad really didn't like 
that style for me. Um, and my mom also really didn't like that style for me. She was typically the one that would buy me the clothes that I wanted mostly, but even she had her limits for things. And like, she just didn't like that I wore a lot of black. Um, and I, cause, and she wanted me to have more color, right? But I just wanted to wear black. Uh, ironically enough, in college, um, I decided to stop straightening my hair because I used to straighten my hair a lot. So in college, I would just let my hair down. I didn't straighten it or anything. I was just like, whatever, because I didn't have any friends after that. I lost all my friends right after high school because people got too busy to be friends with me. They didn't even want to contact me back. Like, never, ever, ever, ever. So, I lost a lot of friends. I didn't have friends for, like, most of college, which really sucked. But because of that, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. If, like, I'm people want to be friends with me because of me, not because of how I look. Like, whatever. Right? Um, so I just started wearing my hair down. And I was like, you know what? Maybe my mom is right. Maybe I will try to add some color into my wardrobe. And so I got rid of a lot of, like, my black clothes. Um, which is the ironic part because shortly after, like, a couple of years after starting college, I got my first job and, like, at nearly every single job, they were like, uh, we need you to wear black clothes. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Because I, like, just got rid of all of my black clothes. So, like, most of my black clothes, I should say, because... I was told that I needed to be more colorful, and so I thought that I would try to be more colorful. <laughs> and now I'm being told that for work purposes, I need to be wearing all black. <laughs> so I thought it was really funny. Um, but yeah, that's what happened there. It was really great. It was really funny, I thought. Um, anyways, yeah, so like... Like I had kind of mentioned before, like, society sort of started to dictate the way that I should look. Um, and, like, certain jobs, most jobs were, like, you can't have this kind of hairstyle or two-toned hair. One of my coworkers got in trouble for having half of their ha hair be blonde and the other half be black. And I was like, are you kidding me? And they're like, well, it's not natural. It's not a natural look, so you can't wear it. And I'm like, that is ridiculous. Um, so anyways, me being the fearful little 20-something-year-old that I was, um, I really just gave in to societal pressure, and I tried to fit in as best as I could so that I didn't stand out because I was so freaking terrified of losing any job that I got. Where the frick are these stairs? I know, I know, but don't pass out. Just a little bit more, okay? Okay, cool. Let's go down. Oh, thank god. There's stairs already. I'm trying to find the little mineral spots. Ugh. Nothing, but I've reached the end, so let's go. Leave the mine, yeah. Do it. Um... But yeah, so anyways, my point is that, like, I started having more black clothes again, and I still really, really like them. I actually still have, um, a few black clothes from when I worked in the cafe. Um, because I did, I worked in a cafe, and it was like, you had to wear either black or white, and I was like, well, fuck wearing white, are you kidding me? Like, I'm gonna get that shit dirty so fast? No. So, yeah. I'm gonna take a drink of tea real quick. Delicious. So yeah, I ended up, <clears throat> like, <laughs> having a very short-lived, um, I like how I just hop up on top of the bed. But yeah, I ended up having a very short-lived, um, what is it called? Um, colorful wardrobe time, because it came to the point where I couldn't really wear colors anymore. <laughs> really funny, I thought. Really ironic. Um, but yeah, and then, um, I probably should have just taken a bath, actually, but I went to sleep. Whatever. Too late. It's too late. Uh, let's take this stuff. So yeah, I got, I got me some black clothes again, 
Um, but, like, now as an adult, I kind of wanted to start experimenting with colors again. So... Oh, hell yeah. Storing items? I'll, I'll take that. Just the one. I just need to craft the one. Nice. Oh, I'm so down with that. Hell yeah. Is it already? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> Anyways. um, I can't set anything up here. This is just open space. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, where do I want to put you? I guess I'll put you here for now. Whatevs. Organize. Okay, let's put you guys here. I don't really need this for now. Uh, fodder, I guess, can go somewhere. I don't know, man. I'll just, yeah, I'll just leave those guys. Well, actually, I'll, I'll take out... I'll take out those because I feel like I'm just going to keep collecting them. But I'll save everything else. That's nice. That's very nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like. I like. What do I need? What do I want? Do I need more wood? Do I need more rocks? Mini game. Oh. There's mini games. I didn't know that. That's nice. Um, should I do a wood path? I don't think I should. I think I should save things. So, I don't have any... A single heart with any of these peeps. That's okay, though. Oh, and there's people I haven't even met yet. That's cool. Oh, and there's their households. Interesting, interesting. Wow, that's a big household. These two are really big households. Cool. Anyways, this is this is like the fashion episode. So, um, basically, I started just wearing clothes. I should probably buy some seeds. Um, basically, I just started wearing clothes so that I could work. <laughs> that was what what ended up happening for me. Um, most of my most of my clothes are work clothes. What's what's wrong? What why did why did they have that look on their face? You want more pets? I can give you more pets. Okay, you seem happy enough now. Let's go. Um yeah, and so like now now I stay home though. It was it's so weird because it was like I had some kind of fashion, but not enough. Oh god, there's a cutscene. Okay. Mushra, I'm glad you could make it. Take a gander at this road. Splendid, isn't it? Sure. Ah, that is that is a little bit better. <laughs> I was like, sure, it's a dirt road. <laughs> Are you guys gonna get more tourists? Oh wow, you changed the color of the sky. Magic. It's alright, you needn't hold back. Compliment our new roads all you like. Oh, you're just fishing for compliments. Uh, it's overflowing with style. Oh, I'm delighted you think so. All of us contributed ideas and put it up to vote. This was our winner. I didn't get to vote. Young Mikey had an idea for a popcorn stand as well, but I'm afraid it lost by a narrow margin. Honestly, I'm not a fan. Hmm? What did you say? I said I'm not a fan. I'd rather have a cool maze just for the thrill of it. Roads and lamps are practical, which is a fancy word for saying boring. Yes, but you said it yourself. It would be... It would be there only for the thrill of it. There would be no point to having one, so I turned it down. Okay, so are you telling me that all the time I spent being lost on vacations was for nothing? Uh-oh. Getting lost is part of the adventure. When you're lost, you discover all sorts of new things. That's what vacation's all about. Hmm, I suppose I see what you mean, but nevertheless, I see no point in adding a maze to our town. A maze would actually be kind of cool. Well, you can make all sorts of new discoveries here, and you don't even need to get lost. For example, uh, you can find the town's handsome and dignified mayor. 
Mm, I don't know, bro. All right, I see what you mean, but those discoveries will be created. Mark my words. Create them? Who's going to do that? Uh, yes, well, Mushra will create them. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks for volunteering me. <laughs> oh, well, oh, nice. Well, Mushra, you heard him. Let's see what you got. How about you do it? My apologies, I ended up getting a little carried away there, but I know you'll do us proud. I'm rooting for you. I'd be like, bro, you're the mayor, not me. You do this shit. It's your job. <clears throat> um, let's see if I can get a pet. Welcome, welcome. I see somebody's got a little extra pep in their step today. You've expanded your house? Why, that's wonderful news. More space means more room for you to use. Oh, and that reminds me, since you've gone all through all the trouble to upgrade your house, why not get yourself a pet to share it with? That's my thoughts exactly. Here, I'll give this to you at no extra cost. Consider it a present from me. What is it? This leash will let you go on walks with your pets. Oh, cute. Can I get a kitty? Let me tell you, you're going to have so much fun if you go walk with them. They get a kick out of it too. So how about a life with a cute little buddy by your side? If you're interested, just let Bridget know and she'll get you started. I can't wait to find out what sort of pets you'll choose. I don't know, man. Let's find out. <clears throat> um, but first... I kind of lost my train of thought, but basically I kind of had style in like high school, middle school, but also didn't because I wasn't allowed to really express myself. Um, and then in college, I sort of started to try and experiment a little with color, but then I started working, which meant that I couldn't experiment anymore. So the experimentation period was really like one or two years of me trying out new clothing styles and new clothing colors and palettes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I also didn't have money to do so. So it was still kind of up to my mom to buy my clothes at that point, you know, because I, I didn't have a job till I was like 20. Um, so it was still very limited in what I could experiment with because she was still in charge of what I could buy and what I couldn't buy and all that kind of stuff. Because I lived with her, not my dad. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then once I did finally have a job, I started paying for my own clothes but it was very specific, the types of clothes that you had to wear. And I typically didn't really wear anything but jeans and a t-shirt otherwise, because I was just too tired at that point to put any kind of effort in. Um, and that's sort of what it's been. It's been jeans and a t-shirt. And then, um, or it's my pajamas. Like when I'm at home, I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs> because they're comfy. It's the comfy clothes, you know? So currently I'm wearing sweatpants, which I discovered like, I knew- I always knew sweatpants were a thing, but I always figured they were not as comfortable as people made them seem like they were. And they were really awkward and, like, like they felt awkward when I first started wearing them. Um, but then, like, once I got used to them, I was like, dang, these are really comfy. I see why people wear them literally everywhere. Sweatpants are so comfy. They're so comfy. So I have- a few pairs, but I have two favorite pairs of sweatpants. They're both black. They're both wonderful. I freaking love them. I wear them all the time. Um, and I wear, like, nothing else but sweatpants and t-shirts now. <laughs> um, but, like, when I go out, I want to look cute. And I don't really go out that much. And eventually, I want to kind of bring that whole, like, sense of going out just in. I I'm such a person that really likes comfortable clothes more so than stylish clothes. But if I can find a good medium between the two of them, then that's kind of what I want to do. Um, this episode is wrapping up, by the way. We're going to pick the pet in the next episode. But I just want to finish up this thought because it's what I've been trying to do. And I've not been successful at it because I've been distracted with the game. But whatever. My point is now I'm kind of trying to curate a style idea, like a style palette for what I really, really want, what I would love to look like when I leave the house or even when I'm at the house. Um, and it kind of depends on the various aspects of my life. I want to get, I want, I like, I really, really want to get into roller skating. I bought roller skates last year, but then, and when I say last year, I mean like just before winter. So I bought them, but then winter happened and it got too cold and rainy and then it started snowing and now spring is here. 
So it's only been a season, but like I still really, really want to get into them. There's nowhere now in the place that I that I've that we've moved to where I feel safe enough to rollerblade because the streets are not safe enough. There's crazy people walking around there. Clearly, they vandalized my car. Um, and also it's a busy street. So like, I don't want to be like accidentally falling off of the sidewalk into a busy street and get hit by a car. You know what I mean? So I need to find somewhere where I can practice. Um, also it's difficult because I sleep during the day. So like I would, I would need to incorporate uh, like a schedule of when I'm practicing that into my, my routines. Um, but roller skating is something I want to do. So like getting clothes that I can be physically active in because I do also exercise a bit. I like to, I mean, I used to just like run little laps around the living room, um, for my cardio and then I do yoga. So like, I really don't have exercise clothes either. And so I kind of want to curate a, like a small workout, um, outfit collection I f I'm blanking on words but like 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 a seven day outfit collection seven different exercise outfits that can be like mixed and matched you know I kind of want to do that that way I'm not wearing the same thing two or three days in a row like I currently am it's kind of gross but like I don't really have any other choice unless I want to have like things flopping around and I really don't I like I like for my boobs to not be flopping around so like gotta have a sports bra but I only have two so I it's really difficult but if I could have like seven then that means that I could have six I could have um one day like six days and then I can have one day where I do laundry and it like that that day that I do laundry I can either take a break or I can wear that seventh day one and then just keep going because I I do want to do yoga every single day um but the running part the cardio I only do like maybe four or five times a week anyways my point is I want to have a fitness active exercise-y kind of wardrobe something where I can be physically active but also still look cute and be comfy. Co like, comfort is still my first thing. I want to be comfortable. And I want to look cute after that. Um, but also, like, I need to feed the needs for, like, what am what's the purpose of these clothes? What purpose are they serving? Will they actually work? Because, like, jeans, I don't think, are a good exercise um, material. So, not doing that. And then I want to have, like, cute, some cute dresses that I can wear, like, out, like, have a, like, a, like, a casual dress, maybe, like, a fancier dress for, like, weddings and stuff. Not that I have anyone that's getting married anytime soon, because I, I don't know anyone that is. Everyone's already married, or they're, like, not planning on getting married ever right now, so <laughs> I'm in that same boat, so, um, there's that. But then I just want to look, like, really cute and, like, feel really cute, so the aesthetic that I've chosen that I feel like I would really like to portray is mixed. It's three different things all together. Um, the term whimsy gothic has shown up on my For You page on TikTok and I completely agree. It's like, it's like the 90s, but like kind of witchy feels it's uh god what is what is that movie and why am i blanking on it it's like one of my favorite movies of all time and i am blanking on the title it's got sandra bullock in it and nicole kidman they're both witches you guys know what i'm talking about right practical magic that's what it is so it's kind of like practical magic style right just imagine their style with like the skirts that they have the jeans that they have, like that whole like 90s aesthetic. I've always, I grew up in the 90s, so I've always loved the 90s. Um, that's what I want. I want that. So that's kind, kind of whimsy goth, but whimsy goth also includes like celestial stuff too. And so I really like that. So kind of, kind of that mixture makes whimsy goth. And so I really want whimsy goth fashion. I also want what I call kawaii goth. I don't know if that's actually a term for it or not. Um, but it's like, I really like pink things and I really like cute things. And I also really like lavender. Like, I really like peachy pink and lavender. And there are some items that are kind of celestial goth-ish. 
like my phone case, for instance, is a purple crystal ball uh, with a purple stand. And then it has pink stars and like constellations going everywhere. And then it has like purple skulls. It has a pink planchette, planchette on it. It has like a white and purple eyeball. It has a purple cat with an upside down moon on it. It's got a pink moon on it. Like it's got, it's very, it's very witchy vibe very celestial but also very like goth and so i really like that style but i call it kawaii goth because it's like really cute and it's got like the cute kind of pastel colors but they're surrounded by black it's just like pops of those colors um so i really really want that also so like whimsy goth kawaii goth otherwise i would love to channel Haley williams style because like if you look at her style it goes it goes everywhere like she has such fucking good style she's my style icon <laughs> so i kind of want to like envision that when i'm looking for new clothing items in a way so i really like that also grunge grunge is great but like probably just have like grunge accents in in my style but like essentially i'm looking for whimsy goth kawaii goth and Haley williams style that's basically what i want um that is it. Let me know what you guys think of <laughs> what I want my aesthetic to be, I guess. Uh, let me know what your guys' dream aesthetic is. Because, like, I also really, really like cottagecore and I like historical stuff, but I don't see myself actually going out and wearing those things. You know what I mean? In my head, I would love to wear it, but outside of my head, I probably wouldn't wear it. Um... Anyways, I will end this episode now. I've talked for long enough. If you've stuck with me this whole time, thank you so much because my brain is like all over the place at the moment. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying Story of Seasons. Um, next time we are going to pick a pet. And yeah, let's. I, I hope they'll let me have a kitty. I want a dog and a cat, honestly. I hope we can get like more than one animal because that would be great. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!